Okay, so Helene and I are continuing these little talks about our history, um, both to give you an understanding of what went in the past, but so many things that happened in the history uh, framed what we do today. And we thought, you know, the more we share it from this perspective, so it's not just events, but you understand how the events affected the way we look at education, the way we look at children, the way we work with parents. Uh, we're calling it, calling it the rest of the story. So Helene did a little blurb last Monday in the news blast that had to do with um, the IFA, because that's coming up. Uh, IFA is the International Festival and Auction. There are two components, International Festival and the Auction. And it's kind of interesting. It started in 1994, and what happened was, of course, we promise we're going to pour our beings into making sure your children grow academically and grow as a good person. And sometime in the early 90s, and eventually it was 1994, uh, a number of parents realized these guys mean business. What they say is true. And they got together and decided they wanted to have an international festival and an auction to raise money for us. And at that time, the money, you know, would, would, some of it went to some health insurance that we needed, some went to some extra things for the classroom. But the point of the whole thing is, is that sort of exemplifies what part of what makes the school work. They recognize, my goodness, you can trust these people. They said they're going to work their tails off in order to make sure our children grow like they ought to, both in their academics and in their character. And um, then they wanted to support that. And, and that has been an ongoing secret since day one. Um, we're not just pe merely running a school. We sort of give a commitment to families and parents. You send your little boy or little girl here, we are surely going to work as hard as we can to make sure our promises are realized with your children. And then similarly, parents say, we trust you. And so we work together. Children sometimes have problems, we work together. Children need to be accelerated, we work together. Some children are falling behind, we work together. And it's that mutual trust and mutual respect um, and then collaboration that has allowed us to overcome difficulties and problems and to create phenomenal programs when we had a highly um, a talented young man or woman that, that started at our school. So that continues to today. You know, that's what we seek out of the parents is a recognition. Yep, these people, what they say they're going to do, they're going to do. And similarly, we're working with a, a cooperative family at home. That's what leads to success. Uh, the second part is, uh, of course, they wanted to celebrate the diversity. I, I think anybody who's walked through the school recognizes the multiculturalism and the diversity that's, that's in the school. It's just, it's phenomenal and it's wonderful. But I think it's very important to understand how do we become diverse. Um, we didn't go out and seek, okay, we need uh, two people from Poland, we need four from Russia. We need six from China, we need two from Korea, we need several from Central America. That, that wasn't the source of our diversity. The source of our diversity is we were a secular school since day one, which meant the only thing we celebrate is our shared common humanity. Side one was humans want to grow, children want to grow, so what are we going to do? We're gonna to focus to make sure every child and every subject grows and thrives and flourishes. That's number one. And number two, we want to make sure they're good people. They know how to get along in the world and work with others. So we celebrate our common human virtues. So why do people from the West and the East and the South and the North find a home here at Birchwood? Number one, they're looking for the same thing we're giving. That is the growth of the children, growing and thriving. First, intellectually, they see the growth in their math and in their reading and in their writing. And secondly, the development that correlates with the natural virtues, courage and self-control. Um, natural virtues are, are the things we all recognize. Yeah, you have to learn how to work hard and do your best and manage your time and organ be organized to get things done. And you have to learn how to be compassionate and just. You have to work with people in an honest way, in a forthright way, in a, in a transparent way, so you can help create community. You need to exercise humility, recognizing you need other people, and you need gratitude. So no matter what background you're from, what religion you're from, what uh, culture you're from, there's a common humanity that we share. 
And that's what our focus is. So even though there might be social and political issues transpiring in our country and around the world, as a school, we stay away from that only because people can have their views. But when it comes to this core things related to our humanity, that's what we provide. And that's so when people come to the school, that's what they want. And our conversations revolve around that. So when we talk about the IFA, it was a reflection of the relationship that the teachers and the parents had built up. Now, we, we dropped the auction, I think, in the early 2000s. We dropped the auction because it, was, it just involved too much planning, too much organization to do everything, the International Festival and the auction. Uh, and then we switched to an annual fund, which has been extremely uh, successful. I think in the last number of years, uh, a few years, we've had 100% participation of the staff. And of course, that's our hope now that maybe the same uh, participation rate, you know, we don't care how much people are able to give, but still to give, to, to still create that sense of, yes, we're working together and doing our best that the children graduating from here are going to be stellar human beings, intellectually and also in character. Thank you.